my name is Leah Grant. I'm here with Pure Movement Pilates. Today we're going to use a softball to go through a really great abdominal workout series. So I've got a nine inch diameter softball and we're going to go ahead and come down onto the mat bringing the ball behind us. Starting with a nice big stretch, go ahead and just circle up and back, reaching through the fingertips, trying to kind of relax the wheel of the pelvis away from you. Stretching open through the ribs. If your head does not touch the mat, you can always cradle it with your hands to help support the head and neck. Moving through just a little bit of breathing, let's go ahead and exhale, pivot on the ball, lifting, <sighs> head, neck, chest, curl, and then you'll soften it back and down. Enjoying the feeling of expansion in your chest, and exhale, pivot. <sighs> I'm narrowing my elbows just a little bit. Twice more. Slide the rib wall back into the ball. Last one. Curling it up, we're gonna stay up. Everybody take an inhale to the right. And exhale, pull all the way to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale, pull to the left. Try to keep your legs parallel. Try to keep your pelvis anchored. Try not to move through the, the wheel of your pelvis, but twist through your rib wall. Exhale, trying to stay lifted. Careful you don't fall backwards. Last three. Feet are anchored. I'm pushing into them ever so slightly. Last two. Staying lifted. Almost there, last one. All the way back through center. Soften everything back and down. Take a nice big inhale again, opening it up. And exhale, lift, head, neck, chest, curl. Go ahead and bring your left leg to tabletop position. Everybody open to the right as the left leg goes out. Exhale, twist to the left. Find your balance, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Try to keep your pelvis anchored. Don't fall right to left. Twist, opening to the right and then pulling back to the left. Last two. Exhale. Sink your rib wall down into the ball. Everything comes back through center. Soften it down. Take that nice big stretch. Opening up through the ribs, the pecs, the chest, maybe even the chin to the sternum. Exhale, pivot. Lifting head, neck, chest. Find your balance. Right leg comes to tabletop position. We're going to take a nice, easy inhale here. Exhale, pull. Inhale. Inhale to open. Exhale, lift. Head, neck, chest. Hold. Float your right leg to tabletop position. Everybody turn towards the right as you exhale. We're going to inhale as we open. Ah, oh, shoot, I messed it up again. All right. Lifting head, neck, chest, curling it up. Float that right leg to tabletop position. Everybody inhale to the right as you pull the knee in. Exhale to the left. Inhale. And exhale. Try to hold your pelvis level. Try not to fall right to left. Keep sinking your rib wall down into the ball behind you. Four. Last three. Give me two. Almost there. Last one. Pull back to center. Soften the foot and release everything back and down. Take a nice big stretch. Opening it up. Exhale. Pivot. Lift. Head. Neck. Chest. Curl towards your quads. Think a little bit like your elbows are gliding towards where the wall meets the ceiling above you. Hold this shape. Bring one leg to tabletop position and the other leg to meet it. We're going to move through toe taps. Reach and pull. Really tuck the wheel of your pelvis here, guys. Keep your low back long. Watch that you don't arch through the spine. Flex. Hold that C shape. Last two. And last one. Carefully bring both feet down. Take a nice big stretch. Let it breathe. Feel in the burn. Exhale, flex. Lift head, neck, chest. Hold. 
Hold the shape. Try not to lose your balance. Gently start to float your right leg open a little bit. Notice you don't fall to one side, right? Ugh. We're going to try to stay pulled towards the midline. Just your right leg and pull. Left leg. So I'd like you to look at the opposite side, right? So if your left leg is going out, you're working your right obliques. If your right leg is going out, you're working your left obliques. So really focus on the side of your body that's pulling down as the opposite leg goes out. It might not be that big, that's okay. Hug towards that midline. Relax your shoulders. Let your head feel heavy in your hands. Last one right, last one left. Good, soften everything back and down. Let it breathe. Adding on, exhale, lift. Head, neck, chest, curl, and hold that shape. Pull the pubic bone towards your nose. Flex through your spine. One leg to tabletop position, Woo. other leg to meet it. Just your right leg starts to open and close. Left leg. Hug towards your midline. Watch the opposite waist. Four, three, two, and one. Both feet come back down. Soften. Ah. Nice big stretch. I'm going to let go of my head, reach my arms up and back, open my knees out. Ah, finding a nice surrender pose, stretching. Mm, then circle the hands behind the thighs, carefully picking yourself all the way up. Oof, let's go ahead and switch now. The ball's going to come underneath our sacrum. Laying all the way down, lifting up through the hips. Place your pelvis on top. Gentle circles to start, kind of loosening through the hips and the low back. And then feel as though you've placed your pelvis right on top of the ball. And you're really going to hold the shape of a neutral pelvis. So we're careful not to arch through our low back, but we want to keep the ribs weighted, the pelvis floating on top of the ball. Hands will stay along beside you as we move through our marches. Lifting and lowering the leg. Super, super fundamental here. Great work. Just... You can always stay here and try to feel the length of your spine, hug towards the length of your spine to keep yourself balanced. All the while, keep the weight of your rib cage sinking. Notice that you don't arch, right? But pull it down, lengthen through that low back. Adding on, both legs come up, moving into those toe taps again. Think a little bit that in order to float the leg up, your navel has to go down. Sinking that mid-rib wall. Carefully, you do not arch in your low back. Last one each. Both legs are going to stay in this tabletop position, squeezing them together. Let's go ahead and start to reach them away, and then pull back in. Reach them away. So as the legs go away, what's happening with your abdominal wall? Can you keep the, the middle of your back sinking down? Notice if you're accidentally arching in the low back. Maybe give yourself a little bit of a tucked position in your pelvis. We've got three more. Exhale, sink the navel. Last two. Almost there, last one. Strong straight legs are going to stay out there. Pilates feet. Exhale, sink the navel. Pull them up. Inhale as they go down. Exhale, sink the navel. Pull them up. So notice that the legs don't go back towards your nose. They go straight up towards the ceiling. Finding a nice clean fold in your hip crease. I'm squeezing my thighs together. Two legs become one, really making them work. Think of lengthening the space between your first and second toe away from you. We've got three more. Notice as the legs go down, your abdominal wall doesn't pooch up. <sighs> Finishing this last one, let's float those legs up towards the ceiling. This time we're going to hold. I'd like you to open your legs out wide. Flex through the feet. Think of kicking the heels away from you as you pull all the way back up. Then move into that point. Open it up. Flex through the feet. Reach the heels away from your sit bones. Sit bones are anchored into the ball. Pointing. Opening it out. 
working through that inside leg line. Think as you pull the legs up, you're still sinking the navel down. Let's do four. Pushing the heels away from the sits bones. Last three. Sinking that abdominal wall. Almost there, last two. Reaching, my legs are shaking, almost there, last one. Reach them away, make them super active, strong, straight legs all the way up, finish with that point. Bend the knees into your chest. Take a moment to let the wheel of your pelvis turn. Breathing gently and let it go. Both feet are gonna come back down onto the mat, slowly lift up through the hips. Rela uh, relax your spine all the way down. Oh, let it feel really long till the very end. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring the ball between our knees, squeezing the knees and the thighs together a little bit. So careful that you're not just internally rotating. Keep the legs through parallel and feel like, sort of like you're gonna press water or squeeze a grape, right? Press juice out of the ball. From here, standing into those heels, let's rock the wheel of your pelvis, lifting your hips up. We're working our hamstrings and abs now. So notice that you don't overextend, again, through the rib wall and the abdominals. So knit and think of your body as a strong, straight board, just as though your arms are a strong, straight board, supporting the feeling of the lift in the hips. Take a little inhale at the top. Exhale, try to knit your midrib wall down first. And think about like squeezing, again, the ball, pressing water, like squeezing everything down one vertebra at a time. Let it relax. Then exhale, curl, lifting it up. Take a little inhale at the top. Again, notice you don't overextend your rib wall or press your hips too high. Last two, lifting that up and lengthen. I'm getting a nice quad stretch. I'm getting a little bit of a stretch through my knees. And then a lot of work through the hamstrings and the abs. Pulling yourself down. Wrap the shoulders back and down. Last time here, let's go ahead and curl. Lift it up to a position that we can hold. We're going to squeeze in on that ball, keeping it in place as we move through some leg kicks back and forth. Keep pulling the navel towards the spine behind you. So give me a little bit of a tucked position in your pelvis. Knit that mid-rib wall. Right, lengthen through the low back. We've got last one right, last one left. Reconnect, squeeze the ball, gently pour yourself down. Think tuck, tuck, tuck. Woo, try to get your mid-back, lower back, sacrum, then release the wheel of your pelvis. From here, let's go ahead and bring the ball between our ankles. So options, the legs can stay long or in a tabletop position. From here, let's go ahead and stretch the legs up towards the ceiling. Again, you can keep them bent if you'd like. Reaching the arms up overhead, here's your inhale. I'd like you to exhale, lift, head, neck, chest, curl towards the legs, grab the ball. Again, if it's bent, it's going to be a little less, right? So user, user's choice. I'd like you to inhale and start to stretch the body away. Maybe you can go all the way to the floor. Maybe you hover. Exhale, flex. Picking the legs up, squeeze the ball. Reach it back. Keep a tuck, tuck, tuck position in your pelvis. Reach it up, stretch it back. Squeeze those legs together again. Two legs become one. Watch that you do not arch in your low back. So you're only lowering your legs as far as you can keep the scoop in the abdominals, and the lift through that inside leg one. Keep the tuck, keep the tuck, keep the tuck, keep the tuck. Let's finish this last one, and we're gonna reach all the way long, 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 keep lifting, keep lifting, keep lifting, right into our roll up. Exhale, lift, squeeze the thighs together. Lift up, up, up. I want you to pass the ball back to your feet. Squeeze between your feet and pour yourself down. Squeeze and press down. as so though you're dragging the ball across the mat. Inhale, exhale, squeeze and press down. Squeeze and press down, reaching. Grab onto the ball, two legs become one. Again, gently pour yourself back and down. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Exhale, squeeze and press down. Squeeze and press down. Squeeze and press down. Lengthening, last time. 
squeeze and press down. Go ahead and grab onto the ankles, the arches, the shins, wherever you can. We're gonna hold here a beat and just take a moment to stretch. Exhale, lift the layers of abdominals. Tuck the wheel of your pelvis. Hold that shape. Don't lose it. Take a little inhale. Exhale, lift the layers of abdominals. Tuck the wheel of your pelvis. Don't lose it. Hold that shape. Last one. Lift the layers. Slowly bring yourself back, then up, back, then up. Roll those shoulders back and down. Go ahead and set the ball out of the way. Let's move through just a little bit of a stretch for our abs. After all that flexion, we want a little extension. So I'd like you to move into your mermaid position. Right leg is in front, left leg tucked behind. Open your arms out. Let's go ahead and tip kind of like a teapot. The hand's going to find the mat. Bend at the elbow. Lift up and over and stretch. Let's dive and twist, bringing our hands a little bit like a shoulder's distance apart. I'd like you to try to bring both elbows down. Now, if we're really tight in our spine, this might be a little bit uh, hard. But try to level and feel equally weighted between your elbows and start to lift the light of your chest. Little breathing here. It might be a little bit of a tight squeeze. Try to let go of that left hip. Keep lifting the light of your chest. Maybe you feel a stretch from the chin all the way to the navel. Wrapping those shoulders back and down. Try to stand into your elbows. <sighs> Gently, we're gonna deep pretzel our spine, turn back towards the far side of the room, and slowly pick ourselves all the way back up. If you'd like an added challenge, roll back. Swing your legs to the other side without touching the mat. Good, tip like a teapot. Hand is gonna find the floor. Gently bend at the elbow. Find a little lift through your waist, and then dive and twist, turning around. Both hands spread down onto the mat. Lift the light of your chest. Ooh, and we're going to breathe. Exhale, lift the navel. Turning your rib wall around. Try to balance both uh, the weight on both elbows. Keep lifting the light of your chest. Wrapping the shoulders. Ooh, wrapping the shoulders. That's my hard part here. Last time. Letting go of that right glute, right hip. Bring yourself around. <sighs> Gently come back through center. Turn to the far side of the room. And then slowly pick yourself all the way back up. You can soften the hands. Come around. Maybe take a little bit of a butterfly stretch. <sighs> For just a moment as you think about kind of widening the base of your pelvis. Lifting the light of your chest. Growing tall. <sighs> and then gently soften and release. Thank you so much. Hope to see you next time.